Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, July 19th, 2024, and this is our daily bread. The title is Jonathan Encourage David. It's from 1 Samuel chapter 23, verses 15 through 29, and the key verse is verse 16. It says, And Saul's son Jonathan went to David at Horesh and helped him find strength in God. While David was at Horesh in the desert of Ziph, he learned that Saul had come out to take his life. And Saul's son Jonathan went to David at Horesh and helped him find strength in God. Don't be afraid, he said. My father Saul will not lay a hand on you. You will be king over Israel, and I will be second to you. Even my father Saul knows this. The two of them made a covenant before the Lord. Then Jonathan went home, but David remained at Horesh. The Ziphites went up to Saul at Gibeah and said, Is not David hiding among us in the strongholds at Horesh? On the hill of Hakila, south of Jeshimon? Now, your majesty, come down whenever it pleases you to do so, and we will be responsible for giving him into your hands. Saul replied, The Lord bless you for your concern for me. Go and get more information. Find out where David usually goes and who has seen him there. They tell me he is very crafty. Find out about all the hiding places he uses and come back to me with definite information. Then I will go with you. If he is in the area, I will track him down among all the clans of Judah. So they set out and went to Zeph ahead of Saul. Now David and his men were in the desert of Mayon, in the Arabah south of Jeshimon. Saul and his men began the search, and when David was told about it, he went down to the rock and stayed in the desert of Mayon. When Saul heard this, he went into the desert of Maon in pursuit of David. Saul was going along one side of the mountain, and David and his men were on the other side, hurrying to get away from Saul. As Saul and his forces were closing in on David and his men to capture them, a messenger came to Saul, saying, Come quickly, the Philistines are raiding the land. Then Saul broke off his pursuit of David and went to meet the Philistines. That is why they call this place Selah Hamaleku. And David went up from there and lived in the strongholds of Engedi. Daily Bread First, encouragement in God's plan. Even in his darkest moments, David found spiritual encouragement from Jonathan. Jonathan reminded him of God's promises and his future as king. Jonathan's support helped David persevere, even when his life was in danger. This shows how godly encouragement can renew our hope and strength through God's truths. In our own lives, we all encounter times of doubt and discouragement. It's during these times that we should seek friends who will remind us of God's promises and his plans for us. Hebrews 10 verse 25 encourages us saying, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Let's be friends who encourage each other, reinforcing the truth that God has a purpose for each of us, even when circumstances seem overwhelming. Second, divine protection and timing. Just when David was about to be captured, something unexpected happened. The Philistines invaded, forcing Saul to pause his pursuit. This timely interruption was a clear sign of God's protection over David, demonstrating that God's timing is perfect, and he intervenes precisely when needed. When you're feeling overwhelmed by deadlines, exams, or personal conflicts, Remember that God is in control over every situation. Do you believe He has a bigger plan than you do? Trust that He will provide a way out or guide you through difficulties at the right moment. Keep entrusting your plans to Him and be attentive to how He intervenes in your life. God is always working. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, 
I am grateful for your continuous presence in my life. Please help me to be a source of encouragement to others, just as Jonathan was to David. Guide me to always affirm your truth and trust in your perfect timing. Fill me with your hope and strength to encourage those around me. In Jesus' name, amen. One word, encourage one another. <laughs>